Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial um, on MI Rack. In this video I'd like to show you how MI Rack is gaining multi-channel audio and multi-channel effect functionalities which uh, is fantastic, it's great news. At the same time I'm also giving away only to my subscribers free codes, free uh, free codes for MI Rack. So uh, what you have to do to enter the competition is just to send uh, an email to sanfumo at gmail.com and uh, then I will select uh, uh, by the end of the week um, free winners. So let's start the demonstration. So I'm inside AUM. Let's uh, add an audio channel and let's select uh, from that audio channel MI Rack. And you can see that we have a new selection my rack 16 channel okay perfect let's add another audio channel and this time instead of uh, searching for an audio unit extension we are going to click on the multibus audio unit instances and we select the MI rack 16 channel a1 okay perfect so on the um, first uh, instance on the first audio channel we are going to add under tags a basic MIDI input like so and we are also going to add uh, a oscillator so we go under the oscillator VCO uh, tags or category and we are going to select something simple like the FM operator let's maximize the window as well so you can see a little bit better so we are going to connect the voltage octave to the voltage octave or to the FM operator and we are going also to create the connection to the gate. Um, in, in this way we can receive the uh, MIDI input from the uh, AUM MIDI keyboard. Now you can't hear anything of course, so let's connect the output and we are going to connect the output to the first and second channel but before I do that I want to activate the ADSR on the level so that uh, I don't have to worry about constant sound so let's reconnect to the left and right channel as an output and now if we click on the keyboard perfect now let's uh, add some uh, feedback as well to make it more interesting okay perfect now to show you the multi-bus functionality and the multi-channel uh, output, let's go on the second channel and let's add, for example, an effect, so like uh, a reverb. Let's choose a uh, uh, bliss reverb and let's decrease a little bit uh, the gain, like so. Now if I, if I play again... <laughs> The output is coming out from uh, the audio channel number one, as you can see. Now let's go inside the uh, MI rack again and let's move the connection to the third and fourth output here. And let's try. So the output now is coming out from the audio channel number two, where we have also a nice reverb. And the great news is that uh, not only it is multi-channel uh, audio, but it is also multi-channel effects. So if, uh, just to give you clear, a quick demonstration, let's click on clear. Let's add uh, another audio channel. This time let's select uh, a synth, like for example, Electric in Vintage from Apesoft, great synth. Let's connect the keyboard as well. <laughs> Perfect, and then let's add uh, MI Rack, this time as an effect. So we have MI Rack 16 channel, but as a music effect audio uh, unit instance. So let's click on it. So here we have the audio input connected directly to the audio output, but this is where the magic happens. So let's, for example, uh, add a chorus, for example, like a stable chorus. And let's redirect the input to go straight to the chorus. And then, of course, take the output of the chorus to go to the output, uh, to the audio output module. So, of course, now we added the 
uh, chorus. Let's change some of the settings to make it more obvious, uh, more feedback. Maybe some of the tremolo as well. Uh, again, more like so. And this is the standard use as a uh, an effect as a, a U. And um, so let's now add another audio channel. And this time let's search for something like Continua uh, from uh, um, Audio Damage. Uh, here we go, fantastic. And let's connect to the keyboard as well. So we can hear continue as a synth. Let's adjust a little bit to the uh, output. Okay, perfect. And now let's add here, for example, again, another reverb. Again, from bliss, let's adjust uh, uh, again the again. And so what's happening here is that you have uh, um, the MI rack, of course, uh, um, adding a chorus to the electric vintage, and then we have uh, a bliss reverb effect uh, uh, which is added to continue. Now, let's um, add uh, MI rack here, but this time instead of uh, choosing an audio unit effect extension, we are going to multi bus and we choose the multi effect like so. and. And the other thing we are going to do as well is um, we are going to change the order. So click and move to the, oops, uh, click and move to the right and then down so we can change uh, the order. So inside here now, what we can do is, for example, uh, again, just purely from a demonstration purposes, for example, let's go to a mixer and let's choose a um, mix four. Okay, so let's, uh, um, uh, for example, take the um, both the input, like so, from the first and the second channel in stereo. Let's go to the mixer and then let's go straight to uh, the um, uh, the chorus and then from the chorus we go to uh, the second and the third and fourth channel which will mean that the both input are taken together um, mixed going through the chorus and then they come out from these audio to the second um, channel and then they're going through the bliss reverb <laughs> And they're coming out, of course, from old, from the second audio channel. And of course, I can select again the MI rack from there and adjust uh, uh, different settings from the mixer and so on and so forth. And of course, there are unlimited possibility. As you know, in a Marac, you can continue adding modules and it gets uh, pretty interesting. Okay, I hope you enjoyed um, this introduction to multi-channel audio and effects that a Marac is gaining as the next set of functionality. Thank you and see you soon.